for the uh, canvas, which will list all the players in the room, I'm going to use something similar to the canvas we have open right now. So I'm going to open my canvases, overlay canvases, create or join room canvas, and duplicate that. Now I'm going to call it, uh, we'll just say current room canvas. And I don't need the input button under create room. I'm actually going to rename this to, actually I don't even need the parent. So I'm just going to move create room up one. Then I'm going to delete the, the second one, which has the create room menu script. And I'm going to change create button to leave room. And it looks like the other canvas is actually kind of ghosting this one. Like I see the enter text there, but that doesn't actually belong to this one. Um, so we're actually going to move this sort order up to one on the current room canvas so that it hides that. And just to be thorough, I'm going to change the background color just ever so slightly. And the leave room button, which is the create room button, uh, I'm going to just change the text and change that to leave room so we know what it means. Now to list the players in the room, we're going to use the same uh, scroll view with the content just to save some time. So let me go up and choose scroll view. Um, I'm going to move it down a tiny bit though and this has a script on it room listings menu i'm going to go ahead and get rid of it it's on the room listings object let me just see if there's anything else i need to clean up i don't believe there is We've got our button which is missing a script that's fine for now okay so i'm going to go ahead and save my scene with these changes one thing i like to do kind of as a foresight is anytime I have a new canvas like this, I like to make a new script for it, even if I'm not using it at the time. So, for example, I have the create or join room canvas object. I highlighted the text and I copied it. Then I'm gonna go to my scripts and then go to UI rooms and I'm gonna make a new script and I will name it exactly that. So create or join room canvas. And then I'm going to drag that script onto that object once it gets done compiling. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing for current room canvas. So it's gonna make a new script, call it current room canvas. Once it compiles, I will go ahead and drop it onto the current room canvas object. And now I need to have it so that these two Canvas scripts can communicate to uh, each other so that I can show and hide the current room canvas, you know, whenever I join or leave a room. So to do that, I think I'm going to make a script and drop it right on the canvas's object. And this script will be called rooms canvases. This is going to hold references to uh, all of the canvases inside the room, mostly the ones that will be uh, placed in the scene already. And you can set yours up, you know, however you like in your project. You're probably going to do it a little bit differently. This is this is just trying to get it done pretty quick while, you know, sort of efficiently at the same time. So in my rooms canvases, I have it open. I'm going to do serialize field and I need a reference to this one as well the current room canvas so I'm going to do private create room canvas and I'm going to call it underscore create or join room canvas just going to name it essentially exactly what it is then I'm going to make a public accessor to it so I'm just going to do public create or join room canvas and the name will be the same thing but with a capital C and it will be get return underscore the create a room canvas, which is a serialized field up above. And now I just need to do that same thing with the current room canvas. So let me go ahead and do that.
And I'm not sure if I'm going to be using the public properties of both of these. Uh, I have a feeling I might later on, so I'm just going to go ahead and expose them. If you end up not, you can of course drop off the public if you don't need it and just use the serialized field. So I went ahead and saved everything and now I'm going to go back to my editor. And now if I select canvases, I'm just going to assign the values and drop them right in and then save my scene. I'm pretty big on uh, saving very frequently, so I even if I don't say save my scene, just assume that pretty much any time I make a change, I'm going to I'm going to save it. So now I need a way for these canvases to be aware of the room canvases. So I could either make a uh, kind of add them into like my canvas manager singleton maybe or maybe I could have this canvas initialize these two with its um, with its reference. So I think that's what I'm going to do so I can avoid abusing my singleton too much. To do that I need to open up the current or join room canvas get rid of this stuff here. I'm going to do public void initialize and I'm going to expect a um, type of rooms canvases. So I'm going to go back and do rooms canvases. I'm just going to do canvases and then I'm going to make a private rooms canvases underscore rooms canvases. And then I will assign that under the initialization. Now I'm going to copy this exact block of code here. And I'm going to go back to the engine and open up the current rum canvas script. Where I will also clear out the block and paste that code in there. Now I need to go to rooms canvases, which is a script which holds a reference to both of our canvases. And I need to add something on awake. So I'm gonna do private void awake. And I'm gonna do private void first initialize. I'm gonna call first initialize under awake. And um, I'm actually gonna rename these. I'm just gonna drop the word first in front of them so I know that it only needs to be called once and then go back to room canvases and I will do current room canvas dot first initialize this because I'm passing in this script reference and then I'm going to just above that put create or join room canvas dot first initialize this and um, as you see they both will be referencing the accessor which will reference the serialized field so I'm gonna go back to my editor have everything compile and just check it over real quick. Okay, I got my references. Uh, I know it's going to initialize these on load, so we should be good there. This one, the current room canvas, will not be shown by default, so I'm going to disable that. Set the game object act or sorry inactive. And now I need to wire up the code so that when I create a room, the current room canvas will show. In my scene or scripts, the room is created in the create room menu class, which that is under create room. And I'm going to actually rename that so it's not confusing me. I'm going to add the menu on the end, just as I'm going to add the menu onto the end of the room listing. So just updating some names, which has the classes, just to make it easier for me. And then I'm going to select the create rooms menu object and then open up the script. So we already have logic which shows um, when the room is created and when it has failed. So under on created room, this is where I will show the canvas. Um, now I have no way to reference uh, the canvas from here because the the main canvas, the the current room canvas, has a reference of it, but the create room menu does not. So I need to fix that real quick. Um, I actually need to add it to the creator join room canvas. So I'm going to jump over here. When this is initialized, the creator join room canvas, I want it to make the uh, sub menus for this canvas aware also of the rooms canvases, which is essentially the, the top tier canvas script. So I need a serialized field 
and it's going to be of the create room menu type. So I'm going to reference the menu that's within the game object hierarchy here. It's going to be create room menu. And I need to essentially do very similar code for the create room menu. So I'm going to copy the first initialize and the room canvases reference and head over to the create room menu script where I will just at the top here paste that and it's also going to hold a reference of the rooms canvases and then once I have that in create room menu I'll go back to create or join room canvas and I'm just going to do create room menu dot first initialize and then pass in canvases as well the rooms canvases will uh, on awake it will initialize all of the sub canvases for the scene and those canvases will in return initialize whatever menus they have beneath them. So everything should ultimately, in this case, have a reference back to the top canvas of rooms canvases. So going over to my create menu here, I need to add some logic so that when you create a room, it shows the current room canvas. I could very easily set that active um, really quick and I believe that's all I'll have to do in this case because I don't believe I'll need any uninitialized logic at this time maybe down the road I'll change it but uh, rather than rather than just calling you know let's see rather than just doing rooms canvases dot current room canvas dot set active or you know referring to game object dot set active I'm going to add a method to show it just in case I want to add logic later that said, I'm going to go over to my current room canvas script. Just going to add a public void show. Now I'm going to add a uh, public void hide. I'll make it. I'll make it public for now. Actually, I'll make it private for now. And under show, I'm just going to do game object that set active true. And then under hide, I'm going to do the same thing but set it false. This way, if I want to add in more logic later, uh, like if I need to initialize anything, I don't have to go way back and change the code. I can just keep it calling show, and then I can change the code within here, and I'll be good. So back to my create room menu, I'm going to do rooms canvases dot current room canvas dot show. And with all my scripts saved, I'm going to go back to Unity. And I don't remember if I put the create room menu reference inside the create or join room canvas doesn't look like I did so go ahead and select create or join room canvas and then drag in the create room menu and then I'm gonna hit play and test this out okay so I'm connected the photon according to our uh, little black console here and the one in the debug log so I'm gonna type in test room and hit create okay perfect so it created the room and it showed the create room menu. We don't have any of the logic set up yet to show the players, so we'll be covering that in the next video.